Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today we will talk about the style. So you want that unique style, that perfect signature design which everyone can recognize and tell it's yours. A whole beautiful consistent collection. Sounds amazing, right? But how do you get there? Many makers and artists seem to get frustrated when they don't have their own signature design right away, myself included. I remember feeling a bit depressed even that I didn't have this signature piece of work, something that wouldn't have to be captioned, yet everyone would know it's made by me. But we are forgetting one extremely important thing here. It's never instant. No one has a style from the day one when they started. It's not a package like you unwrap your tools and there they are instructions with your unique style attached. It's just, it, it doesn't happen. Maybe there are some cases that people created their own style from the very beginning, but I'd say they are in a minority. It's not common and nothing to beat yourself over. So, for some makers, the process of finding own creative voice will be faster and for some it will be slower. I think it's true regardless of the technique, whether you're a jewelry maker or an illustrator. Okay, Basha, everything you say is great, but that's not why I'm here. How do I find my own style? Well, first of all, you have to make a lot of pieces first. So, practice. And then, while you practice, here are a few tips on finding your own style and developing that desired signature design. You can start by determining what other style do you love and why. What makes you choose them? Is it a color, a specific shape or a form? Is it minimalistic or something bold and statement? What artists do you admire? Why do you admire their style? Again, what are the elements that speak to you in their work? Then, what elements do you love? Which art period? Think about how can you translate it into your own specific style and designs? How would you use this element across different pieces? Let's say it's a leaf. How would you use that? That would be specific to you. Also, try to think what element are you using the most? Which ones are you using without thinking about them? For me, for example, I would always do one specific leaf in my notebooks, so then I tried to incorporate it in my jewelry making and I've already made few pieces with a leaf like that. Then moving on, how original is this element or combination of elements? Because you can come up with something totally new and that by itself will already stand out. Also, have you used this element by accident or deliberately? Try to think about that. Both are fine as long as you can recognize this element and incorporate it into your style. What is your creative process? Try to think about that. It might be more important than you think. Don't copy and don't steal. It's tempting for many reasons. You get inspired, you see something is popular, people like it, or you want to grow like that artist and have similar style. Or maybe you just wanted to practice. But regardless the reason, copying is not okay. But we'll cover that in another video. Most importantly, just make what makes you happy and proud. Make what you like to make. It can be tricky for small makers that are starting out and want to sell their jewelry. They research the market and trends and seem to focus on it so much and stress about selling their jewelry, finding the target audience, etc. You know, those things that everyone recommends you when starting your own business. And I did that too. And I mean, it's not bad, but I've changed my approach and went back to the beginning and started again, this time with my own art as a priority. I'm still in the process of finding my own style and designs, but I think I'm getting closer. So yeah, you can notice how people respond to your work, but don't use it as your only argument to keep or drop a design. 
what you think is more important. So yeah, give yourself time, don't stress too much over it and don't push it. Just try to be natural and let your art develop. Experiment with some uh, different styles, experiment with some elements, see what works for you and see if you can come up with completely new combination of elements and let your art develop naturally. I hope you've enjoyed this video. As always, leave your comments below and consider subscribing to support future videos. Thanks so much. Take care. Bye.